In this video, we're going to talk about three different methods for rapidly reviewing lab values. Uh, part of this demonstration assumes that you receive labs uh, over an electronic interface. If you don't, some of these methods may not work quite as well. Uh, if you're not ordering and receiving labs over an interface, it's definitely worth talking to your laboratory uh, companies uh, to see about setting up an interface because it's an incredible time saver. What I have here is three labs for a patient. This is a fake patient. In this case, it's one of the X-Men. And we're going to review his labs three different ways. First of all, you can review an individual lab one at a time. To do that, you simply click anywhere on the line for the lab that you want to review. And the laboratory result will show up. Now, in this case, it's, it uh, goes across this row. If you want to see it in a more traditional format, you can click the pink paper clip and the results will actually show up. Notice these are some pretty abnormal labs, but it's a fake patient, so that's okay. Uh, the pink paper clip means that the labs were received over an electronic interface. If I just wanted to review this one, then I can write in here in the notes section. We always recommend for our workflow to put a timestamp on there, which will put your username uh, and the date and time, and then you can write your uh, impression. So I'm saying the labs look bizarre. Now at this point, I could uh, simply send the message to the patient. In this case, we can see that he's web enabled. Here it says web enabled, and it goes to yes. Unfortunately, yes is on the second line, but that's just the way it is. So at this point, if I click reviewed and click OK, it is going to mark it reviewed and it's going to publish a message to the portal and Wolverine should get an email saying that he has a message and he can go to his portal and review the lab. That's one way. The second way, on this screen, rather than clicking the reviewed button, I can hit this button called Next R. That means then go to the next lab and mark this one reviewed. So if I have several and I want to go through them one at a time, I can hit the Next R, add my comments in the next one, hit the Next R and go through several in a row and that will take care of it. Alternatively, let's say I've written uh, a lab comment here, but I need my medical assistant to give Wolverine a call to let him know that we need a follow-up visit or whatever. In this case, I'm not going to mark it reviewed. Instead, I'm going to change who I've assigned it to. In this case, we have a user named Urgent Care MA that all of our MAs check, and then they would take care of it. When they take uh, an additional action, then they should go in and timestamp it as well to write the new uh, action that they took. If they completed the action so that nothing further is needed, then they could go ahead and mark it reviewed, either by marking reviewed and clicking OK, or hitting their next R button. And if they do that, then Wolverine, if he's web enabled, which he is, will get a message. I'm going to cancel out of there for now rather than reviewing it, but that's one way to review labs one at a time. If, and this is more commonly the case, especially in primary care and a number of specialties, you may have a number of labs and you don't really want to go through writing the same comment on two or three or five or ten different labs, eClinical provides two different ways for you to review several labs at once. The first one is called View All Reports. To do this, I'm going to click on one of the boxes for Wolverine. It doesn't matter which one, any one of them, I'm going to click this box. If you click more than one, and we try to view all reports, it will still bring them up, but you only have to click one. In this case, notice we have three labs. We have the comprehensive metabolic panel, we have the complete blood count, and we have his thyroid stimulating hormone. Now, notice each one of these has a box where I could write my opinion with a timestamp, I could mark it reviewed, I could do anything else to it, or I could reassign it to someone, but I don't want to do that three times. I only want to do it one time. And this is where the view all reports works. I'm going to back up for one second. Notice I've clicked at least one. And I go here to view all reports. If you go to this arrow, you'll see that there's an option that pops up that says by visit or unreviewed or all. You can change this in your settings. Um, when you go to the file menu and then settings, my settings, I recommend that people change it so that it always uh, by default selects unreviewed. So you might have labs for multiple visits. You can still review them all at once if you want. So to recap, I've clicked at least one of these. I go to view all reports and I click it. And this window that we just looked at reappears. 
The thing to keep in mind on this one is do everything on the top first. So in this case, I'm going to write my opinions here in this box. I'm going to timestamp it and say the labs look bizarre, but unchanged. See you in three months. Now in this case, I can see that Wolverine is web enabled and I can mark it reviewed. And now watch, if I click apply to all, I want to do everything I want to take care of here first. Then when I apply it to all, you can go down here, you can see this message is now in this lab. It's been marked reviewed and it's ready to go. The same message is written here marked, reviewed, and the same one here. So in this manner, I can do all the results here in one, then I can mark it reviewed, and apply it to all of them. Let's suppose instead that I needed to send it to my MA instead of reviewing it, I'm going to leave it open. I'm going to send it, assign it to my MA, and now again, I'm going to apply to all. And when I do that, now you can see it's changed each one of them back to open status, assigned it to my urgent care MA, the same on every one. Now once I've done that, I might decide I really only need the MA to call on one of them, on the thyroid. Well, I'll leave that one open. The other two I could mark reviewed and mark reviewed and those two will drop off and only the thyroid stimulating hormone will go to the L jelly bean of the MA and then he or she can take care of it. Also notice there's this box here. By default, you can set this so that everything goes to the web or you can set it so nothing goes to the web. This is in your practice default settings, so you need to talk to your administrator about that. We have ours set so that if they're web enabled, it will automatically go to the web portal. Let's suppose it's one that maybe I don't want to go. Perhaps it's an HIV result or an, another sexually transmitted disease. I might go ahead and uncheck this uh, or check this. By checking this, it means it doesn't publish to the portal. And I could individually select it for each of the individual labs if I wanted to send most of them, but I wanted to leave off, say, the pregnancy test or something else. And then, at this point, when I hit OK, how I have it set right now, the TSH is still going to go to my MA, but it looks like the CBC and the CMP are both going to be marked reviewed. And Wolverine would get a message, because he's web enabled, saying that there's some labs to review. Now I'm going to cancel out and not review it, because I'm going to show you one more way. Finally, there's an option called the patient letter. Some of our doctors like writing a letter rather than this view all reports option. They both do about the same thing. In this case, go ahead and check one and choose patient letter. In this case, you can see all the labs. In this case, there's a CMP, the CBC, and the TSH. Now, we have multiple entries for a lot of our components, which is an issue we're still working out. Practically, you can ignore the entries for now. This is the top half where I can see the labs. The bottom half is the letter that's going to generate as I start clicking things through. So in this case, I'm going to check the CMP. Let's say I'm going to say that it's normal and it's stable, no uh, medication changes are needed. The CBC I'm going to say is normal and the TSH I'm going to say is um, abnormal. Now as I've been doing this, it's been automatically generating a lab down here, a lab letter where it says it gives the results. You can see each of the values here, the sodium of six, which in truth is terrible, but it's a fake patient again. Here's the normal range, and when it was collected, it reports the whole CMP there. Continuing down, there's the CBC, and there's the TSH. Notice that these boxes that I checked here for normal or stable, these show up in the statement right here. Your CMP results are normal. Uh, below it says stable no medicine changes. Now in this letter you can still manually correct anything you want. I can say they're normal, see you in three months. So I can still do some more formatting here if I want. I can go down to the bottom, I can add an additional, I want you to avoid Magneto if you're an X-Men fan. So I can put whatever I want in there. Once I've done that there are two options. In this case, since the patient is web enabled, there is a button that says publish to the portal and review the lab. When I click this, two things will happen. Number one, it's going to publish this letter, exactly as I've written it, to the patient portal. And when he logs into his portal, he's going to see this lab uh, letter. It's going to look just like this, right down to my signature and my comment about Magneto. It's also going to mark these three labs reviewed. 
So they're done. They're off my list. Alternatively, there's a button here for to print the letter and mark them reviewed. In this case, maybe I still want to mail it to him. Maybe he's an 85-year-old patient of mine who is not web-enabled and has no interest in being web-enabled. Um, as an aside, if I'm doing this on a patient who in their ECW account is not web-enabled, this Publish to Portal button will not show up. It will be gone, and you'll only see Hub and these other three buttons. So I can still print it. That way it prints out. I can give it to my MA to mail off to the patient. It still marks to reviewed, and it's gone uh, off my list, and it's now sitting in the reviewed section, so I don't have to do anything with it anymore. Um, one thought on the patient letter. This is one that's good if you're taking care of it and you don't really need your MA to call and do anything else about it because notice there's not really an option on here to reassign uh, this to someone else. So if there's some action that needs to take place on it, I probably wouldn't use the patient letter. Instead, I would probably use the view all reports because view all reports does give you the option of making your comments, applying it to all of them, and you can still reassign it. Uh, individually or all of them to your MA or whoever's going to take care of it. Those are approximately three different ways that you can review labs. So if you have a long list of 30 labs but there are only five or six patients, you can rapidly knock out uh, labs in bulk for a bunch of patients by using any of these methods. I hope this has been helpful for you.